Da -da! These are gorgeous, these cakes. I make these all weekly now. I've got an obsession with making these cakes. They're so easy to do. They are Creative Nature's um, banana bread mix. Um, so if you're vegan, um, you don't eat dairy, you have a shed load of allergens that you're allergic to. Um, it says that there's top 14 allergen free, without doubt, and absolutely delicious. These are amazing. Bloody amazing. And they're so easy to make. Um, they're made with brown rice flour, white rice flour, maize starch, tapioca starch, beet sugar, maize flour, milled flaxseed, baking powder. Um, and there you go. And with these, all you've got to do is add um, just a few key ingredients. So your bananas, so three bananas. Make sure your skin's nice and mottled, you know. Um, the more messed up the skins are, the more sweeter your banana is going to be and perfect for baking. Um, so three large white bananas, whoop. Um, 50 grams of dairy free spread and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can put cinnamon if you want to in it, but I'm not, no, <laughs> no. Um, it's just beautiful, I tell you, really easy to do. Um, clearly marked vegan on the back. Um, it says it serves 10 people. Who are you trying to frigging kid? Hey. Um, really simple to make and it's done within 40 to 45 minutes so by the time my tea is finished cooking that's the plan I'm going to be ready to scoff some of this it's amazing so uh, right. and I love these just because I love the taste let me just use a fork to uh, mash my bananas with this is quite hard for me with my hands see I like doing those because they taste nice and fresh they taste homemade they don't you know some cakes are quite dry and boring and the same bloody flavor all the while whereas with these they're really moist and you know they taste like as if they're homemade I absolutely love them and they, they're just enough. There's not like a whole heap of ingredients that I've got to be doing with my hands. It's just like basically mash your bananas, add a bit of vegan butter and that's it. Bung it in a, you know, a loaf tin thing. And that's it. That is it. Tesco's, they do a sticky toffee one, which I'm really keen to try. When I go over to Tesco's next time, I'll be buying some of there. But Asda, today, I went in there and the freezer section for the vegan stuff is absolutely crap. There was one OMV pizza there, that was it. The rest of the shelves were completely empty. So I don't know what the hell's going on. Are they bringing in new lines? Are they getting rid of stuff? Or have they just not got the staff to put the stuff out? Who knows? I really don't know. But staff at Asda, sort it out. It's terrible. And then you go down the fridge sections and it's like, it's just an obliter obliteration of stuff. Full stop. I mean, you know, it, it's not just the vegan stuff. It's just in general, our store just like, looks like there's nothing in it. Just a massive empty shelves. And I'm like, that's just ridiculous. So yeah, I nipped out today because I needed to get some money out for my cleaner on Saturday. And also for, unfortunately, for Elsa at the vets. And I'm not looking forward to it, but... So I've done that. And then I literally... Um, just nipped into Asda for a few little things. I'll leave that for a minute because I'm bound to forget. 
something. Let me go and get me butter, the scales and some vanilla extract. Um, flat it's quite funny to watch them <laughs> the younger three hey vanilla extract not for cats right you just put that there a sec right what am i gonna do i need is it 50 yeah 50 grams of dairy free spread let's put this on here a second i need a scales for me I'm going to put this plate on here in a sec. Reset the scales. Right. 50 grams. I've used this one, the Flora Buttery. I love it. It's great on jackets. It's great on toast. It's just gorgeous. 34. I worked it out. It's about two tablespoons of spread stuff a bit more it's a bit off but it'll do there we go in your pot come on right so that's that lovely right let's put you there one sec yeah right I'll put my Zach's right here Stir your wound, mix it in. I just find this quite therapeutic because it's nice and simple to do. It's nothing really, really tough. It just gives me something to do. I mean, my car lady came yesterday. She peeled my potatoes put them into quarters, put them in the pan, you know, all ready and everything. So I've got potatoes either for mashing or, you know, doing as roast or whatever I want, really. Um, she's fabulous. Yeah. She is, she's fab. Right. I know I could do with a care person to come with me shopping. Um, I could, unfortunately, at the minute, until I can afford more things, get it stuck. And I don't know, when I started having care persons, um, there wasn't anybody available just on the one day that um but they had someone free and i thought oh well to start off with it doesn't matter um but now i'm ready to need somebody really i do do a lot of home shop because it's just easier and then it's delivered to the door and all it's got to be done is um put away so i try and time it so when my care lady's here she gives me a hand and she does all the putting it all away and um, saves me struggling and wiping myself out. Let me just go and get me uh, my tin and some grease proof paper. I don't know what else I need. I think that's it. Oh, let's put you there a sec. Great. Right. Oh, when I open the fridge, you don't need to open the fridge. Right. Back I come with me tin. Tin. Grease proof paper. It is, it's just nice and easy, simple food throw together. Um, and that's it. But yes, I could do with someone to give my hand. And at this minute in time, it's just not possible. Can't afford it. 
what I do rather than trying to faff around with trying to get this to fit in because it's like it flies back out at you what I've learnt to do is scrunch it I was watching someone on a live <laughs> and uh, she was doing baking with a little girl and um, people in the in the chat were going, scrunch the paper. And she was just not understanding what they meant. So that's what she did was nothing and I scrunched. So I'm gonna have to do this on my lap, I think. Carefully place the mixture in the tin. You know, if there's bits of butter Whoop. Not quite, not quite mixed in. Don't worry, because as it cooks, it'll uh, it'll melt. Is the word I'm looking for. But we are all good. I know you can't say a lot. I'm sorry about that. I'm not one of these people that go on social media with all their fancy gadgets, you know, fancy ring lights and fancy, um, you know, stuff, microphones and sound things and all that sort of stuff. That's not me, I'm afraid. I'm just very simple, nice, easy. Yeah, very basic. That is me. Let me put this in the oven now. Right. Right, I'm gone. Let's put it in there. Let's switch the oven on. That would be a big help, wouldn't it? Right, there we are. Right, we're in. We're in the oven. We're sorted. It's all in there, going away. Um, but yeah, it's just really, really simple. And it's really, really tasty, gorgeous food. Creative nature, the three pound a pack. Sometimes they're on offer for 250. But like I said, I know Asda do them, Tesco's do them, Sainsbury's I think, in fact pretty much anywhere and everywhere, you know like a cardo and all that will do them as well and you can be as fancy with your topping as you want, they do give you ideas, you can go on their website and you know compare what sort of things you've done, um, and it is just really really tasty. I mean, there's one of them things there. I don't know if you're able to do a scan of the QR code to see what's what. I've never done it. But it could be interesting. There you go. Vegan look. By women built. No idea. But yeah, it's great. Love it. I don't know what I've showed you the bottom for. It's nothing exciting. Um. So yeah. So I highly recommend it because it is very, very tasty. I mean, I've made shed loads of these. And um, that's it. That is it. Let me just... Uh, but yeah, um, that's it. Just really simple cake making. Um, they do the carrot cake one. They do the sticky toffee one. I want to try that. That'll be on the next ones to buy list, I think. So, anyway, I hope it's inspired you to go forth and buy some. I just get sick of the same flavour all the while. You know, chocolate, chocolate and chocolate. And then 
I used to buy one from Asda that was a frozen carrot cake slice and it was all right but it was a bit a bit much um, it just was very sweet and very overpowering whereas this I had it in the cupboard for a bit and I never touched it and I wish I'd bought these ages ago because they're just gorgeous and um, you're blown away how nice they are but like I say, I gave for your bananas that are really, really mottled on the skin, nice and spotty. Um, the the more grimmer, the better. Um, it just adds to the flavour, believe it or not. Um, but they are, honestly, it's just, oh, yeah. Right, anyway, gonna love and leave. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.